So we're at the Laurel Run Mine Fire. And we are up the one mountain, wilkes Bear, off of the 81 North side, going up the mountain. And up here would be Bear Creek. So that's east of wilkes Bear. And this is actively burning since 1915. Not a lot of people know about it. Pennsylvania's forgotten Centralia, in a sense. What happened was a miner, I believe it was right before the weekend, he put his mine lamp down on a timber right at the coal seam and a mine car apparently ran down the slope and derailed and either it knocked the timber over with the flame lamp and lit the timber on fire and jumped into the coal vein or he left the coal, or I'm sorry, he left the flame lamp on the timber and went home and it caught the tim timber on fire, which then subsequently caught the coal seam on fire. It's a pretty interesting chain of events there. But it jumped into the coal vein regardless, and this, this whole pile is smoldering, you can see. Oh yeah, look at that. You can smell it too, you can feel it. Wow. And they thought they had the mine fire under control. And that goes right down into the red ash vein of coal, right into the old abandoned tunnels and gangways and drifts and slopes. Um, but they didn't get the coal mine fire out of, uh, they, they didn't put it out. And it smoldered on and off. So they thought until 5960 when they abandoned the mine. And when they abandoned the mine, it really got out of control. And there was a whole village here. Right down here is the old Lehigh Valley Coal or Lehigh Valley Railroad um, rail bed. And they would have hauled coal, you know, from all the operations all throughout the eastern seaboard. But uh, that's even abandoned. But there was a whole village here, Laurel Run. And in the mid-60s, right when Centralia kicked off, they had to decide where they were going to divert the funds to. So this one won out, and Centralia lost out. So they put, I believe they dug all types of trenches here and filled them with clay and sand and fly ash. And this is like the, the ash. This is all from the fire itself burning. So apparently it's contained, but down this way is Shikshini. Down this way is Pittston, and ultimately Scranton, past that way. But, you know, I think it's gonna burn all the way down towards Shikshini, given, you know, X amount of hundreds or even thousands of years, all the way up through Pittston. It's not going to burn down towards Wilkes-Bear because of the natural aquifer has flooded those um, old tunnels and workings. So the aquifer, it will burn down to the coal and obviously it will create steam and all, but it will eventually be extinguished. So up here, the coal will run like the uh, sides of a bowl. So the coal comes to an outcrop, the top red ash and bottom red ash. So upper and lower red ash veins. Um, are separated by many, many, many hundreds, if not a thousand feet, um, down in the center of the valley here. But up here, the mountains brought the coal veins up in the formation of the mountains, and they actually touch. So it's like a bowl. The sides of a bowl is that side of the mountain, and that other side of the mountain about five miles away. And then it's very flat in the valley itself, so it's like horizontal in the valley and almost vertical in some instances 
when it outcrops to the surface in the mountains. So this mine was called the Red Ash Mine. And like I said, it operated before 1915. Coal mine fire starts in 1915. They thought they had it under control, which they did not. Burns out of control starting in 59 and 60, but it was, it was definitely burning crazily. During operations, they just probably hit it from the public more. You can see all the smoke over there. It's crazy. And this does start brush fires, because ambers do come out. Be careful you come up here, because you could fall through the ground and get killed. You don't want to fall through uh, loose ground, because this, when, when the coal burns, it's going to create subsidence, because it's removing the coal through fire spread and it's making ash and the coal is actually load bearing like in a building it's like the foundation of the mountain and what happens is that burns till and ash is going to create subsidence the same as robbing pillars <clears throat> so when you come up here you can fall into one of these fissures and die you'll already be overcome by uh, gas will be burned till death. And that happened to a young boy in Centralia when he almost died um, in the mid-80s, early to mid-80s when he fell in his backyard and held on only by a tree root. So, what's crazy about this, if you really think long and hard about it, they mined coal probably from like the 1870s, 1880s, maybe even Civil War era, up until the mine fire starting, so 1915. And then they mine coal still, they didn't even abandon it when the mine fire started. And then in 60, it has been burning for 62 years unchecked. It's been mined for a hundred, and yet there's enough fuel in this mountain for it to be burning still like this. And I wrote a letter to the editor years ago talking about how, how they should harness this free energy in a sense. There's another fissure burning up the mountain. So I just came from that burning pile over there. You can see it burning. There's one. But it will actually catch this grass on fire every now and then. And it burns up the mountain. And that's burning a ways up that mountain. It's burning on the other side of that road, which I took film of those vents and that, that's a good distance away and like I said it's it's burning in a north and south fashion north respectively towards Pittston and south towards Shikshini respectively but just it, it's mind-boggling how much coal is left behind here's all wilkes -Bear. there's where the Baltimore colliery would be the arena would be right over here and you can hear traffic from 81. So these mosses right here will live year round because of the warm air coming from the mine. Uh, the gases don't do anything to them. But in a lot of spots it will be completely moss. And it's real lush in the winter time. Snow doesn't snow doesn't collect and that that is so hot I mean I could get burned Wow ah, it's just crazy hot and I've put my digital detector here and it's going nuts it's even showing methane coming out byproducts of methane all types of carbon dioxide obviously carbon monoxide So this is the Red Ash Mine Fire in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania's forgotten. Probably one of the largest mine fires going. And this just shows no, no signs of ending whatsoever. Wow. It's hot. You can cook over that. 
Wow. And I noticed this first in 2003 when I was in my high school in the center of Wilkes-Barre at Coughlin. Actually, my knee is burning. Wow. That rock is just super hot. But um, I wondered what that was. You know, I could see all this steam coming from off the mountain. And someone said, oh, it's a mine fire. I mean, it's going a couple hundred feet in the air because it was such a cold winter day with a miserable sleet storm. This is one of the things that piqued my interest in coal mining. I went up here. You could see how this is subsiding. So right down there would be a tunnel. Eventually, these are just cracks in the earth from subsidence. The air has to find its way out. So this is a fissure going all like an earthquake fault. And I can see it. The super hot gases are coming out and it's just it's just destroying this. I mean if you step there you can die. So be careful if you come up here. I don't advise it. So everyone knows about Centralia, but I bet most people did not know about Wilkesbur having uh, even crazier and way more active um, looking fire on the surface that is. I mean I don't know what Centralia is doing underground. But here on the surface it's extremely active and it always is it just when you come up here in snowstorms nothing in these whole sectors even comes close to sticking you can really notice the moss growth then i'll show you how that just fogs that lens over look at that look how active so unfortunately he relocated the, vow, uh, the village by just destructing it. There was nothing saved, really. There's paved streets here. There was a church. Whole neighborhoods gone. Look at that backdrop with Wilkes-Barre. Everybody knows about Centralia, but not this behemoth. So I wonder if that miner lost his job. <laughs> but I wrote a letter to the editor saying, um, you know, can you harness the, the power because it's just venting all these emissions and, you know, this is steam power in a sense. And some of, uh, some good feedback on that letter to the editor, like Iceland, they uh, harness their volcanic uh, power from their, their uh, hot springs power most of their country's energy and you think someone would harness this because again this has been burning 107 years now unchecked they're just letting this whole portion of the mountain go and burn like I said I wonder if it's going to jump the fire breaks and burn towards Shikshini and Pittston in time only time will tell but you know if they could harness this power and I think a few uh, other publications re-ran my letter to the editor saying that was a good idea and feasible in some sense. But if anyone has any stories about the Laurel Run mine fire here in Wilkes-Barre Township, let me know. And uh, let me know what you think about the mine fire. There's East End, Wilkes-Barre. There's General Hospital, Plains. Or, Wilkes-Barre, I'm sorry. Baltimore Colliery. Dorrance Colliery. Formerly. Up there would be Blue Coal, Huber. I'm shocked with it being as warm as it is and you can still see the smoke. But again, if you come up here, be careful because of unstable ground. You can see the cracks that the fire puts through solid rock. Gives you an idea how intense it is. <clears throat> don't camp out here too because you'll possibly be overcome by carbon monoxide as you sleep I don't know with it being in the open atmosphere how much that dilutes it but it's definitely totally lethal dosage when you're right up on it as per my digital gas meter be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe if you haven't already Thank you for checking out this video.